Just to give you a sense of scale of this rover, this is Curiosity as it sits on Mars right now. This is a beast of a rover. It's 10 feet long, basically three meters, a little bit narrower than that. It stands seven feet tall, fully to the top of the ChemCam up there, and it weighs in at 899 kilograms. That's just shy of a ton. Uh, that's why we needed a special way to get it down to the surface of Mars. Good thing it worked. You have this good. Touchdown. We're lucky to be here with Mike Shara. This is his rover temporarily. He's the curator of this place, but also an astrophysicist. So I'd love to ask you, Mike, are you happy today? Uh, I'd say thrilled, relieved, uh, ecstatic, all sort of rolled into one. Uh, this is just the beginning of a multi-year mission of by far the most sophisticated package we've ever sent to the surface of Mars or anywhere else, frankly. Uh, so I think we're gonna be seeing great science coming back for the next two, three, four, who knows, maybe even 10 years from this fabulous instrument now sitting on the surface of Mars. I've heard scientists say that whereas spirit and opportunity were field geologists, this is the whole gosh darn laboratory uh, out there. What do they mean by that? Well, it is. It's not just geologists, but in effect, you now have biologists on Mars. Uh, you also have meteorologists on Mars because we're sampling the temperature, the wind pressure, the wind velocity. And you have space scientists on board because you're sampling the radiation environment. You have to know what the number of cosmic rays is, are that are hitting the surface all the time. Because if you want to put astronauts down there, you've got to know how much protection uh, they need to be afforded against both radiation and the harsh environment. So you really have a whole suite of science instruments that represent almost all of the science. What's the thinking behind plunking this rover down in Gale Crater next to what used to be called Aeolus Mons and now I'm told is Mount Sharp? Right, well what you've got in the middle of it, uh, first of all you've got a nice flat landing site uh, and that was a really a uh, heart-stopping landing uh, last night but we got it, NASA just nailed it. Uh, now what you want to do is sample that crater floor because what it's doing is looking at the material that's washed down from that central mountain uh, see what it's made of and how it formed, and then roll up that mountain over the next couple of years, because what that mountain is is really a set of geological strata. You're looking at the past billion years or so of the history of Mars as you sample both the rocks and anything else that you find on the way up. You're looking at both the chemistry and the geology and, in essence, the past biology of what was there over the last billion years. Mm -hmm. Com.